What's up, everyone? Electronic search here, back with another video. And in today's video, that Westinghouse TV, rest in peace, is now gone. Um, I'm gonna try my best to try to f to try to film the goodbye TV part, but I don't know. I'll try my best. It's eight o'clock right now. I have no idea what when they come here, but yeah, when they pick it up, I'll try to film how. Yeah. You you get it. But anyways, good luck. I'm just gonna be sitting here watching some stuff on on this iPad, so yeah. I'll I'll uh on pause the video when I when I hear the thing coming. Still here. Doesn't look like I'm still here. It doesn't even look like Hold on. Oh, I think we're here. Yeah, I think we're here. L let me go upstairs. Okay, I'm now upstairs. Turn on the lights. Or actually, I shouldn't have turned on the lights. So the TV is right now by the garbage can. I'll open up the window. Let the camera focus right about there. We're gonna have to wait. Huh. Oh wow, it's pretty warm outside. So yeah, we're just gonna have to be waiting until it comes. I feel like we're good. I'll stay here for about like five more minutes. If I steer, if I start hearing sounds of a truck, then yeah, that's gonna be where the, that's gonna be where the thing is gonna be, right there, just to not get in private and private information right there. All right, so this is the day when that Westinghouse TV dies. Oh, if you wanna know the date, Tuesday, May 26, 2020. It's 8, 8.05 right now. So I'll just wait for about five more minutes. My cat's in here. So hopefully she'll find she'll help me find it. But anyways, uh, always when going in this view, you're, you're gonna see this these annoying fences. I'm pretty sure you're always gonna see that. I'm sorry, I can't help it. This has got to be here. I don't want no one, no flies flying in here. Yeah, we're still waiting and still waiting. Well, while I'm waiting, I don't want to just get bored over here sitting on a uh, on a YouTube video camera. I I don't I don't want to just sit here. That's how I'm gonna get bored. So why don't we talk about some quick stuff of how this happened. Oh, there's a bee. Oh, good thing I got this protective shield. <sighs> okay, yeah, hello bee. Yeah, mind your own business. All right, so we got that Westinghouse TV. And then that Westinghouse TV... Um, I thought it was not working and when I thought it was not working I made a video trying to fix the Westinghouse TV and 
I did that video. It's very long ago. I think it's one year ago. I'm not sure. And not just that. Um, I also... I... Oh, wait a second. I also uh, taped a, a piece of paper that says rest in peace on it to the TV. So if someone comes and uh, uh, picks it up to throw it at, to throw it in, they're going to see that there's the word rest in peace on there. So I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, yeah. I'm probably going to have to be sitting in now before here. But, yeah. And then the Westinghouse that I was trying to repair actually works. It wasn't broken. It was actually works. It actually works. So then when I figured out it works, bingo. Um, I went downstairs, I plugged the TV and uh, via HDMI into the, into a laptop, and then that laptop, the other end of the HDMI went into the port in the back of the Westinghouse TV, and then, of course, the power, um, 230 volts, or I don't, I don't know how much that thing takes, I can't check right now because it's gone. And yeah, everything was fine. And then I was on Microsoft Paint 3D, drawing some figures and building some blocks and doing a bunch of random stuff. I mean, it's Paint 3D. Why do you think it's got its name? Exactly. Oh my god, my cat's... My cat's staring through the window. I don't know if you can tell. Cat's staring out the window. But yeah. Anyways, that's the Westinghouse TV. And then... Uh, oh, hold on. That's the Westinghouse TV. And then... Uh,